kind of in Mania's court. He's doing what he needs to do. He has the dropships out. Uh, he, he secured that third secondary, and in the meantime, mine's kind of out of position with that factory. And it uh, looks like that, that barracks is going to be caught out in the open. Still those vultures kind of moving around, uh, going to take care of that. That the, the Basically, just kind of hunt down those dropships. And the the, the, actually, mine is doing exactly what he needs to do. He's putting turrets out all over the place. Uh, so he can basically try to funnel Mania's troops into less vulnerable areas. But uh, I, I think Mania, in the meantime, is just content to, to basically try to outproduce. And this is what I'm talking about when I feel like Mania is better, or I should say Mind is better towards this mid-game uh, kind of macro fighting. He's starting to secure secondaries. He's starting to secure the rest of the map. Even though he doesn't have that third expansion up, uh, he's going to go for kind of the, the, the larger game. This is going to force uh, Mania to probably plop down two more factories very quickly as he's losing this barracks right there. Let's see if he got him down. Uh, still those two dropships out, uh, but he's not going to have an opportunity to do an attack here. As you can see, turrets uh, down everywhere, kind of across the map, so it's going to be hard for him to kind of find the hole here. But really, that's that's kind of his strength, is finding the hole and just producing nothing but tanks at this point. A ton of tanks out. He's got one Goliath there. As you can see, he's had those two other factories going up. Uh, those vultures coming around. So now three drops it. So he's got a large force, and I think what he's going to do uh, is basically going to push up with this main force, force those tanks to remain in the siege position, uh, and then drop all over what's remaining. And yeah, as you can see, those the, even though Mind had uh, some forces out, that's just a larger force for Mania out, so he's going to be able to kind of open these areas back up for his dropships, and uh, kind of a standoff here between the tanks, uh, but <laughs> kind of trying to hold this area. I think what Mind was attempting to do is use that single dropship to kind of supplement whatever forces were being dropped on, not being very successful, uh, losing that bottom right-hand corner, uh, and, and losing that upper right-hand corner, so this turret's basically kind of a wash those uh, tanks of that position, and uh, looks like he's going to lose that Wraith as well, and wow, uh, another expansion going up for Mania, and Mania needs to be very careful, he's already ahead economically, what he really needs to do is he needs to secure that before he plops it down and just load up the dropships and start pressing in uh, to Mind now, otherwise I feel like he's going to get a little too spread out, another, and finally that third expansion going down for Mind, uh, Mind not being very successful there, he knows he took some down some turrets, he knows that Mind has wasted some time, just go on the offensive right now, don't, don't worry about expanding at this moment, simply because you're going to end up spreading yourself out in the long run in my opinion, you're going to end up kind of playing too defensively, uh, if you're going to go for this more macro-based build, do what Mind was just attempting to do, and uh, press far into his territory and just lock him in, seal him in with your dropships. Uh, just kind of put down some turrets and then control around the area, but he's not doing that. Uh, he's going to go for that third expansion, which really, in my opinion, is going to put him on the defensive, which uh, I, I don't think he... I think it's going to swing the advantage eventually back to Mind's favor. Uh, right now you can see those other two dropships down and just kind of camped out there, going to spot uh, spot those two tanks, and those two tanks are going to get wiped. Mine being a little careless there, lost one of them, almost lost his second tank, uh, but a lot of other tanks kind of pushing up, and Mine's still dedicated to kind of trying to do this this kind of turret seal, and it looks like he has an SCV camped in the upper left-hand corner, so he's going to try to get down another expansion there as well. So I take it back, I guess this isn't going to spread Mania out too far, because uh, Mine also opting for kind of a longer game. Uh, he only has a single dropship, he needs to equalize kind of that drop a dropship advantage that Mania has. He needs to start kind of responding to what uh, Mania is doing. Mania, in the meantime, get, has that expansion. He's basically out macroing, uh, and I think out producing mind at the meantime. That turret down the corner, that SCP kind of trapped there. And all that's really going to do is that that's going to give a spot uh, for Mania when, if if Mania, or uh, for Mania to say, if Mania decides to take that bottom right hand corner. More rates out, uh, and basically if he, if uh, Mind can get a decent sized Wraith Force, that Wraith, wraith Force out, spit it out there, uh, it's going to force kind of a Goliath escort, which it looks like he already has. And ooh, 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 ah, oh, looks like a siege tank managed to kill that Goliath. Losing one dropship, had to unload it. Uh, fortunately, unloaded Goliath, which is going to force those uh, those two wraiths back. But really, uh, two more rays to supplement that and a good patrol. An engineering bay going down, but that's not too big of a cost. Uh, just out there for spotting purposes anyway. But uh, a little bit larger a uh, wraith force. And really, what you're going to force uh, Mania to do is, is kind of keep those dropships close to his main force, especially the Goliaths. Uh, it looks like right now he's just kind of using the race to get uh, cheap shots to kind of spot, and he's uh, I'm surprised that Mania, is, or I'm sure, I'm sorry, Mind is spreading his forces out. Managed to take down another dropship out in the open. He's going to be able to take this dropship down as well. Uh, so equalizing that dropship advantage, and, and you can see that Goliath going to try to push up and take that Wraith out, but uh, does manage to get one Wraith, but he loses the Goliath, and I think that's uh, a f a more than a fair exchange uh, for Mind. Taking down two dropships, only losing a single Wraith, uh, and now those 
tanks are entirely undefended. No uh, Goliaths protecting it. He's going to have to pull it back. Another Goliath coming up from behind. Uh, so two Goliaths up now. It looks like they have Charon boost. So interestingly enough, uh, this is going to be kind of dueling strategies here. It looks like Goliaths and tanks on the ground, but kind of turrets, uh, wraiths, and, and, and just kind of a tank build. For, for Mind, and I feel like Mind's is a lot, well first of all, it's, it's much more gas heavy, and two more factories going down for him, and, and also that other expansion. Uh, it looks actually, no, I would say one, two, three, four, five expansions up for Mind, so Mind's actually going to win the micromanagement battle, but again, I think he's going to be spread thin. Mania, in the meantime, instead of uh, attacking, he's going to secure that southern expansion. That's what he needs to do, in my opinion. Uh, I, should, I think he should have done that earlier. He's expanding, uh, and that's clever, actually. He's going to take that six o'clock expansion, and then kind of uh, take that other, that that it protected and, and just kind of make that his defense post and that's going to basically protect one the that kind of three o'clock position protection because he can just uh, ferry troops back to protect it and that's going to most uh, basically protect that bottom right expansion uh, and he's going to be able to get the, ma the macro advantage in the long term as you can see the the main getting a little thin the secondary actually uh, producing still uh, and it looks like <laughs> that barracks getting caught out in the open again uh, Ray's uh, taking that out but a lot of Goliaths a lot of tanks down uh, and, and two more dropships, and I'm, again, I'm surprised that Mania hasn't gone with more dropships, and these rays need to be careful uh, getting caught a little out in the open. One of Wraith goes down, but uh, in exchange for a barracks, and that's uh, going to slow down factory production. I don't think a second barracks is down for Mania at the point at this point, and uh, still just uh, about four factories up, another engineering bay up for spotting purposes, and more turrets going down. As you can see, Mind being very uh, offensive, and ooh, that's a little dangerous for Mind. He's going to put that uh, expansion to that 12 o'clock position, and that's a little dangerous, and ooh, one dropship goes down that uh, manages to get a tank out uh, and the second dropship goes down and but manages to get a little forces but I think uh, between the SCV attack and those tanks uh, I think this is going to be easily repelled because uh, but kind of a, a force pushing from the front as well uh, they are going to be able to take that engineering bay but mine displaces forces such that I think that's mostly halted still a large kind of contingent pushing in there we'll see uh, basically if I'm not sure if mine has forces on the ground actually to fight this back it looks like he does have four tanks in that position uh, but we'll see. they're just getting hammered they're kind of outnumbered on the front that Wraith kind of go a little bit across. What mine needs to do here is he needs to take a shot with that Wraith and lead the Goliath, uh, lead the Goliaths into his tank forces and then go back with the Wraith. Uh, we'll see if he's doing that. I think right now what he's in a scramble to do is he's, he's kind of in a scramble to get uh, forces back. He, wow, that was really good micromanagement on Mania's part, cloaking, uh, doing a comp set right as that cloak was off and loading up another set of dropship. Reinforcements coming down, but still I'm not sure if it's enough uh, reinforcements. He's going to use that dropship to spot. Uh, but he needs to be careful of that dropship again because uh, you can see the Goliaths out there. And uh, still those expansions still going up. Uh, main, uh, mine being very focused here and still working on uh, kind of exp uh, expanding up. Uh, and Mania in the meantime getting sound down some turrets of his own. He looks like he has five factories up. He's at full production. Uh, wow, he's got a lot of resources here. Uh, again, going to just... Pr and th that's that's really awesome. He's going to put pressure on that southern uh, natural expansion of Mind. And Mind's not even going to be able to think about doing an attack against any of his holdings, especially at the 6 o'clock position uh, and that bottom right uh, position. So this is really going to uh, allow Mind to, to kind of buff up micromanagement-wise. Uh, and really, it, you can see the maps are split in half. Both these guys really going a lot of... My, a lot of macro and a lot of dropships coming in for Mania. I think Mania has a production advantage at this moment and Mania uh, definitely has a lot more dropships than mine does. Uh, and really mine's holdings are a lot more vulnerable. I'm surprised that he isn't comps out of that 12 o'clock position uh, and he's dedicating to this area. Uh, really this is where Mania, yeah, there, there he's doing it. He's going to bring those dropships around, go for something vulnerable. Uh, and looks like a single, that one uh, one weapons upgrade. And it, yeah, some Goliaths. And I think Mind now realizes uh, basically what his flaw in his plan is, is he's not a mobile force. He can't bring it around. He's going to, uh, wow, he's going to bring those forces up and, and basically uh, keep those forces pinned. But a lot of tanks actually sieged in the background, it looks like, uh, with those turrets. So he manages to take that force out decently. I'm not sure if there's any forces left in those dropships. Uh, and really, uh, again, I don't. I don't feel like mine should have. Or I should, I'm sorry, Mania should have dumped his forces there. I think he should have patrolled all the way around. Uh, and gone. I'm not sure if he realizes that 12 o'clock and that upper left-hand corner expansions are up, uh, maybe, but either way, even if that is the case, I would expect him to be going for kind of a, a more heavy uh, a macro build at this point, just to start pumping units right now uh, alongside those dropships. And Mind now, uh, being, as you can see, just entirely on the defensive, he's going to lose uh, that gas, and that's going to be very costly. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Not very costly, because you can see how many expansions up, producing a couple more rays, getting that science facility down, because he wants to get the next level upgrade. Uh, and Mind actually not 
not not doing not being panicked. And now he finally discovers that 12 o'clock expansion. He's going to push up with a lot of forces and just siege over that ridge uh, and those turrets down. And wow, mind in the meantime, though, able to reinforce that with a lot of tanks. And see, it's just too late now. He didn't go for that 12 o'clock expansion really when he had the opportunity. Uh, so mine can basically reinforce that with uh, basically made up for production. He's going to be able to reinforce that. Uh, <laughs> and both engineering bays kind of uh, positioning, trying to do the spotting here. A lot more tanks down for mine at that northern location uh, than for Mania, though. So Mania going to be pushed back. And uh, wow, I think they're dead even as far as production, as far as.